everybody welcome back to the Rope Life Vlogs YouTube channel it has been a crazy crazy yeah a couple of days we got hit by Hurricane Irma but we didn't get hit by its bad side which was a category 4 I believe yeah category 4 it hit um, more of the west coast of Florida we're on the east so we got um category 1 to 2 winds it's been absolutely insane we finally got power and I'm able to um, video and upload hopefully soon when my Comcast comes back up but I figured while I'm you know bored home since my studio has no power I figured I'd film some videos for you and I've been dying to try this I'm wearing no makeup right now because I just purchased from Too Faced their brand new collection of peaches and cream peach perfect i am so excited to try this so this is going to be a review first impressions all that so i got right here their cooling matte perfecting primer i got their comfort matte foundation and then i got their mattifying loose setting powder so i'm oily skin so anytime a new matte foundation comes out, I get super excited, I buy it, I want to try it. Obviously nothing has compared to my Lancome um, Tant Ideal, I think that's how you say it, foundation, but I still try a bunch of different foundations. I'm a makeup junkie, that's what I do. So I'm going to start with their Cooling Perf Matte Perfecting Primer. And this is supposed to refreshing peach and sweet thick cream is infused in our long-lasting cooling matte primer that blurs and smooths your complexion with a brightening peach tint that works on any skin tone. Oh, so this is going to make me look perfect, I guess. This is honestly my first time trying it. Don't smell anything yet. It's supposed to smell like peaches. Oh, crap. It's... It's like a peach tone. Okay, so this is gonna be, I wonder, oh. I smell the peach. It's actually not as strong as I thought it would be, which is nice because sometimes you don't, you don't want your fragrance. Pat this in. You don't want a lot of your makeup products to be too fragranted, especially if you have sensitive skin. Okay, this feels really nice. I do like this. Let's see how it's gonna perform the rest of the day. I'll probably wear this for a few hours and come check back and see how it's doing. If, um, if it's had any separation, creasing, all, all the works. Just to make sure this is a really good foundation. I like that this dried up really quickly because it sucks when you have to wait for your <laughs> primer to dry. So I'm gonna get my makeup brushes. Um, Normally, we'll Back then, let's try another one. Where is my cookie? I don't see it. Back then, I was um, in love with putting my foundation on with a beauty blender, but recently I've just been enjoying these like small foundation kabuki brushes. It's just easier to clean for me, I guess. Okay, so this is the Comfort Matte Foundation. It is oil-free, 14-hour wear oil control and photo friendly. Ooh, photo friendly. So let's see. Peach Perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream in our exclusive comfort matte long wearing 14 hour formula. The modern way to wear matte foundation. Photo friendly, smooth, flawless, and comfortable with a soft, focused, velvety finish. Okay, this better keep me shine free. <laughs> let's see, oh, I'm gonna pump it on my wrist. So their colors, the first one was snow, and the second color was porcelain, but I tried porcelain at the, snow was just too white for me, but I tried porcelain when I was at Sephora. It seemed a little dark for me, but we'll try it out. If my face looks really dark, I apologize ahead of time. I think I put too much in there, let's see. I could smell the peaches. I like that I just dipped it a little and this covered a lot of my face. This foundation dries up fast, which is normal for any matte foundation, so you have to work quickly. I think this color might be too dark for me. Yeah. 
Oh well, we'll try it out. I guess I'll just darken the rest of my body. Put this on my nose. It smells really good, you guys. And, I, and it's not like this heavy, crazy scent, which is awesome. It smells so delicious. Um, oh God, maybe I might need snow. The color snow instead of porcelain. This is the thing with um, foundations. When there's a wide variety of like different colors to pick from, I love it because you can't have like, I don't know how many shades they have in this one, but you can't just have like 10 colors in a foundation arranged for people. There's so many different skin tones out there. So, okay, so I am feeling, this feels really nice. Um, my eyelids are so white. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just have to like darken my neck up. This feels really nice, actually. And it smells delicious, so that's a plus. So let me take a close look. See, I like it. And yes, I'm the weirdo that still keeps like some other stuff in packages, especially if it's like really cute packaging, I totally leave it in there. And I, I just, you know, make it work. So let's see. It looks good. Let me fix some of this right here. I'm gonna apply the rest of my foundation and see how, not foundation, the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll check back after to see how it works with my other makeup. So, down to the setting powder. I'm sure this one smells like peaches and cream. Peach Perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream, like all their products. In our exclusive modern comfort matte formula, the Feather Light Universal Peach Tint Setting Powder brightens your skin and smells like a dream. It sets your foundation and creates a silky smooth canvas for bronzers, blushes, and highlighters while helping to absorb oil and reduce shine throughout the day. Oh, that's really cool. So this is apparently supposed to work with all my makeup. Can't smell it yet. This is adorable. Their packaging, oh, this is so neat. Oh my God. Okay, usually when you get like a, a setting powder, all the powder is like flying everywhere. It's a hot mess, but they're so smart. It's like this little plastic cover. You pop it open and then you can like pour it out onto here and then it's just not a mess. Oh my God. Oh, that smells so good. Too Faced, you are so cool. Let's just get this brush to do. Actually, before I do that, I just reminded myself I need to do my concealer. Where is my concealer? Here it is, darling. Let's put my concealer on. Just a few little dots there. Let's do this now. Okay. Apologize for all my silly faces applying my makeup. But that's how I apply it. Okay, now we can do the powder. So let's I saw this technique on their Instagram. I believe the makeup artist. She didn't like rub it on, she just like like swirled it, like patted and swirled it on the face. So I was like, I'm gonna try that. Cause that looks interesting. I think I'm doing it right. You guys, it smells delicious. I think it just swallowed some. I got some of my hair too. 
Okay. Looks good. My face looks really, really matte. You guys, it smells so good. Okay, so this is done. This is adorable. Too Faced always has like the cutest packaging. Okay, so that's done. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish my makeup off camera. And then I'm gonna wait a few hours and then I'll just check in and come back and just see how this works because you know with a matte foundation, some matte foundations you'll be like flawless from right away. And then as the day goes on and your oils start to come through, it could either really stay on the good or it could look like a complete disaster. Your foundation will start to separate um, on your nose and around like where you put like, you know, some products don't mix well with each other. So they'll start to separate right here, creasing, but this looks pretty freaking matte right now. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup off camera and then I'm gonna be checking in with you guys in a few. But so far, what I think right now, I think it's a great um, combo, the primer, the foundation, and the setting powder. My skin looks awesome and it doesn't feel like you have like this thick layer of makeup on which is nice i really like that because like that's like the last thing you want to feel when you have foundation on um so yeah let me finish everything else and i'll see you guys in a few okay so i just finished doing my full face of makeup and i know you're like holy crap natalie a little bit dramatic on the eyes but <laughs> that's not my fault i was trying to go for a natural look but i'm trying the new mark jacobs um what are those called the iconic palettes and holy crap these are amazing the pigmentation is ridiculous so this is in the color <laughs> scandalous and let me show you what it looks like if you can see that it is so gorgeous that by accident this just this eye look turned out to be this dramatic um but anyways that was really good and another new product i tried today amazing these have to go on my september favorites list because it is so good it is the anastasia beverly hills blush trios the middle one if you can i don't know if you can the like it is stunning so beautiful it's gonna be um, a must for this season. And another thing I tried today was the Too Faced Melted Latex in color Peekaboo. Peekaboo. So this is on my lips right now and I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna spend some time with the foundation on my face, with the, the peaches and cream products that I put on today and just see how it goes. Right now my face feels matte if you see shine it's because i put highlighter in the spots but it is matte you guys and it feels it doesn't feel like it's drying out my face or anything like that but it just it feels it feels good so so far thumbs up right now for Too Faced so as the day goes on with this dramatic look sorry anybody that sees me in the daytime with this look but let's just see how it goes and i'll keep you guys posted obviously it's a 14 hour long wear i'm not wearing it for 14 hours because that's a big no-no, but I'm just gonna wear it for a few hours like how I normally wear if I wear makeup that day and just see how oily I get. So let me get on to that and then I'll check back in a few. Bye. Okay, so I am back and checking in with you on the Too Faced Peaches and Cream Peach Perfect Foundation, the Mattifying Primer, and the Setting Powder. And I have to say I am so impressed. I looked in the mirror um, a couple minutes ago and I just feel, which I have the mirror right here, but I feel like my, the areas where my pores are pretty much enlarged just looks so airbrushed and flawless. I really, really, of course there's noise in my house. I apologize if you're anything crazy. I have guests. Um, but I honestly feel like it has left this area, especially right here, is so flawless. The setting powder is well, probably my favorite. That setting powder is absolutely amazing, especially like right, I'm looking in the mirror, like right underneath my eyes, like this area right here just left me poreless, flawless. I absolutely love it. I'm still matte, like, 
This thing is no joke. It has left me so mad. I absolutely love it. I've had it on for a couple of hours now and this is so good. I still love my Lancome, but this is, has to be like a close one. I'm gonna use both. I love makeup, so you know, I'm just gonna use whatever I feel like wearing that day. So yeah, honestly, I totally approve of this. The, the whole system that works together, the primer, the foundation and the setting powder is a must, especially the setting powder, it is amazing. And even though it smells like peaches, you don't walk around smelling like a peach. I'm sure if someone kisses me right now, they'll be like, oh, you smell good, but it's not overwhelming, it's not overpowering, it's just so good. And the foundation, I honestly think this color is my match. It is pretty good. At first when I put it on, I was like, oh, it's a little too dark, but now with all my makeup on and all that, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that is a two thumbs up for the Peaches and Cream Beach Perfect from Too Faced. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at The Robe Life Blog and www.therobelifeblog.com. And we see you guys next week. Bye.